What's up guys, welcome to your 30 second tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use something called the text animator. Now a text animator is is pretty much a sweet way to animate text um, and is different than your basic transform properties. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is if you have your path from last tutorial um, get rid of that so you just have basic plain old text on the screen. Uh, nothing interesting about that. So when you have text on the screen you're going to have this text option right down here. And you're going to see you have this little thing called animate right here. This is your text animator. And what we want to do is animate the position of this text. And make sure you're not doing it in transform. Notice that there's position down here. What we want to do is go to animate. Click that right and click position right there. And now under animator 1, animator 1, uh, we're going to have a position property. And what this is going to do is give us the position of the text right there. But um, moving this would be just kind of useless because we could do that with the transform. So what we want to do is open this range selector and now we see the start and offset and all this stuff. So go ahead and move your position uh, somewhere down to like right there. Um, maybe like 100% down or something. And now you can see what the start and end does. This range of start and end says where you want your um, text to be affected. See if you won't only want to affect half of it right there, move to 50%. And as you can see, only 50% of the text has moved down. See the other text is unaffected totally. And again, you can select the range in the middle by doing something like moving the start and the end point and then only your middle text is able to be animated. So this range pretty much selects the range of text you want affected and the range you don't select is going to be totally unaffected by your animation. So let me show you guys a neat little trick that you can do with this. Move this start to zero in the end all the way to a hundred and this means that all of your text is going to be affected that's why it all was moved down. So let's go ahead and in your start go ahead and click that little stopwatch so it can animate. Then move your uh, current time indicator somewhere to five seconds or something and then go ahead and scroll um, your text to a hundred and as you can see the text slowly jumps up like this. So what this does is say alright it's all affected and now none of it's affected and it gives you a cool little effect. So go ahead and scrub this all the way to a uh, zero or not scrub it just move it and now player animation and you can see all of your text is becoming affected to ineffected and gives you guys a cool little text effect. Now we can enhance this even more by adding more properties to this. So let's go ahead and add an opacity property and again make sure you're at home on your current time indicator is zero zero in time and go ahead and right on your animator one go ahead and click add property opacity and now at the very beginning what you want to do is set opacity all the way to zero or somewhere close to it and now as you can see as our current time indicator moves more and more and text becomes unaffected not only does it hop up but it also fades into opacity. This is because it says, all right, at the beginning, zero to 100, everything was affected, so everything is gonna be totally transparent. But as we move along, then more and more text is not gonna become transparent anymore. So that's pretty much the um, basics of that. Um, let me play this for you guys. Now, not only uh, when we do this, does the text move, but also kind of fades in, kind of jumps up from nowhere. So let me play that for you guys one more time since it's just so awesome. Wow, would you look at that? Let's just sit back in my it for a second. So again, how I did that, um, you need to open a new animator with this animate, and then start and end, um, it pretty much chooses how much of the text you want to affect and then just go ahead and change position and opacity and bam you got it so that's my quick tutorial on what text animator is and how to use it in the next tutorial we're probably going over some text some more and some other cool things you can do that 
but for now that's all you get so don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to seeing you next time